Hello everyone, Greg here from Crucified Films and welcome back to the BNSF Bird with Subvision. And as you see I'm spiking some rail down here for my new grain handling facility. Up here this will be where all the grain cars come from. And all the grain will end up here and be turned into a vegetable oil the and ethanol. So the corn will be turned into ethanol and the canola will be turned into vegetable oil. And as you know, the, uh, the main source of traffic on the BNSF Birdwood Sub is grain and biodiesel. Uh, and some other freighters will mainly grain and biodiesel. So we need vegetable oil for the biodiesel and we need ethanol for the biodiesel. So it makes it very handy for modelling because I like hopper cars and tank cars, so it blends in perfectly with that. Anyway, so we needed somewhere to send our grain cars once they get picked up from the grain facility which is directly below this. So that's what's happening. I finally decided to get some in other industry going because no matter how big your layer is, you eventually get sick of going round and round. You make and break up trains and you think, well, why am I doing that? You need every layer, regardless whether it's an on-the-shelf one that's three metres long or something like Paul River, uh, needs a purpose. And if you don't, if it doesn't have a purpose, you get bored pretty quickly. So, now, uh, lots and lots of response from my... Uh, a Fern Genesis update video and the CVs and my idea to do a CB shortcut series. Uh, nearly everybody wants that done, so thank you very much for watching and for the uh, ideas for that. Now, it'll take a few weeks before I get the first one out because I'm looking at how to do it and get it pretty slick and quick and also uh, um, trying to make it you know, as professional as possible. So, a few, few more weeks to go before we get episode one out, so there'll be short episodes starting from when you first get your locomotive and you address it right up until you do all your speed changes to make it run more realistically and then we'll go through that and then we'll start getting into adjusting sounds and lighting stuff and all that sort of thing but we'll go through the addressing and motor control first then we'll go into sounds so it'll probably be i think 10 minute long videos one or two cvs at a time so you don't get, uh, for those of you who are new, you don't get overwhelmed because it can be a little bit confusing, but once you get into it, it's very easy. Now, talking about the Athern Genesis uh, Jeevos, I have three now, and I've ordered another one. I'm that impressed with them. But uh, the only thing is the number board lights are an issue. Now, I have pulled one apart, and I'm happy to say that it's quite easy to get your number boards lit in these units. Quite easy indeed. Uh, the only thing is that the decals are not see-through. So that's a problem. They're a black background with white lettering, and I thought maybe the white lettering would be opaque, but it's not. It's actually painted white. So if anybody can tell me where I can get number board decals that are black with white lettering see-through, see-through lettering, let me know, because I have no idea what to do. Uh, I could replace them with black lettered decals, but that would look a bit funny in the front and that's not prototypical. So getting the lighting into the number boards is pretty easy, a little bit tricky, but it requires absolutely no modification. And all you do is uh, use two SMD LEDs and you can either leave them in the space in there or you can glue them to the back or with sticky glue uh, to the back of the actual number board lens and then obviously put resistors in and dim them down so they're not, not too bright. So getting the lighting in there is easy. The decals are the problem. Why does there always have to be... Why can't it just be easy? A thern, for Christ's sake. Just put the right... Anyway, I know in the Athern Genesis 2 they've got lit number boards, that's great. But there are hundreds of people, there are thousands of people that would love to put number boards in their older Athern pre-Genesis 2 units. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, it's not that difficult. And the decals are the only problem. So if, if you know where I can get some decals, uh, the only trouble is I've got to get the right number, and then if I can't get the right number, then I have to renumber the locomotive, la 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 la. <sighs> anyway, not to worry. But this is just a quick update to tell you that yes, the CV shortcut videos are going to happen. But give me a few weeks, uh, probably at least three or four weeks, to get the first one rolling. I also have a guest, uh, Airbnb guest, uh, for a few weeks, so I try not to uh, go in their space while they're down there. My office is downstairs, so. Now give them their space, their privacy, that's what uh, you should do. So in the meantime, I'll be getting some footage together. And look out for the first CV shortcuts 
in probably three or four weeks time. So there, in the meantime, I'll get some track up here and then we can at least have a proper operating session and get some grain cars from the bottom of the layout, which is just underneath here, the grain facility, all the way up to the oil facility or refinery or different else for it. So that'll be fun. All right, thank you for watching. Just a quick short update. Thank you very much for watching the other videos and suggesting the CV shortcuts. And we'll see you back on the Birdwood sub very, very soon. Here for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.